This is a full body, five minute static stretching cool down targeting the upper and lower extremity muscle groups. A fantastic way to cool down after a tough full body workout. This first static stretch is gonna focus on both the lower extremity and upper extremity. You're gonna step back with your right foot, keep your heel flat, targeting your right gastrocnemius, and then you're gonna reach across your body with your right arm pushing against your elbow with your left hand. So you're gonna be focusing on your deltoid and your gastrocnemius here, both on the right side of your body. If you wanna inch that foot back a little bit further, the key is keeping the heel. Now you're gonna switch. We're now gonna focus on our left gastrocnemius and our left deltoid. Try to keep that foot flat on the ground and feel that stretch through your calves. And then for the upper extremity, you're feeling that pull through your deltoid in the shoulder region. Just keep pushing gently against your elbow, trying to get that arm as far back and around you as you can. Just hold that stretch. Now we're gonna be focusing on your pectorals, the chest region. You wanna just reach back, make a fist behind you. And as you're doing it, you wanna pull and then raise your arms up as high as they'll go in the back while keeping your back straight. Now we're gonna reverse the muscle group here or work on the opposite muscle group. We're hitting our latissimus dorsi and trapezius. You wanna just reach out as far in front of you as you can, palms facing outwards. Now, you're gonna spread your legs out beyond shoulder width apart. You're gonna go straight down the middle, try to get your palms flat on the ground. It's okay if you can't, try to get your fingertips at least. Have your head hang heavy, and you wanna feel that pull through your hamstrings on the back side of your legs and you just wanna hold that stretch. Now, you're gonna reach over and take both your hands and wrap them around your ankle. Use your right ankle as a handle, pulling your chest in closer to your right knee and feeling more of that isolated stretch in your right hamstring. And now you're gonna do the same thing on the left side, both hands around your left ankle, pulling gently against that ankle drawing your chest into your left knee. Now you are going to lean to your left. You're gonna rest your left elbow on your left knee. You wanna bend that left knee, all right? And keep pushing the hips into that left knee and now you're gonna rotate over, all right? Rest that right elbow onto the right knee. You wanna feel the pull through your hips and the inside part of your groin. Nice. Now you're gonna cross your right foot over your left and you're gonna take your right pointer finger and try to reach down for your right big toe coming across your body. Here we're targeting the IT band and your right gluteus. This is a very large muscle group. So it is good to stretch this as often as you can. You wanna feel that pull through the right side of your gluteus. Now you're gonna switch over, cross over. You're gonna take your left hand or left pointer finger to your left big toe, and you're gonna feel this through the left gluteus and through your left IT band, which runs along the lateral side of your left leg from your hip down to the side of your knee. You wanna feel that burn. Take some deep inhales and exhales, and on the exhales, you can get a little bit deeper into your stretch. Now, here we're getting into downward facing dog. All right, you wanna tuck your head between your biceps. You wanna push your hips up as high as you can. Try to make a V shape with your body, and if you're flexible enough, you wanna keep your feet flat. Now you're gonna transition into upward facing dog. Arms are fully extended, legs gently off the mat. You're looking up and behind you. You wanna get maximum pull through your abdominals. And now you're transferring that weight into downward facing dog one more time. Try to get a little bit more, try to get those hips up a little bit higher this time. 
flat on the heels if you can. You'll notice I'm not quite flexible enough to do that. And now you're going to transition into upward facing dog. And you want to feel that pull through your abdomen, right through your neck, through your front part, your anterior part of your shoulders, and you have just finished your cool down. You've just helped your body recover and I hope you feel more flexible and focused. And thank you for joining me on this five minute static stretching cool down. Enjoy the rest of your day.